Corporal punishment has for years been a major method used by teachers to discipline students in response to their unacceptable behavior. The immediate aim of such punishment are usually to halt the offense, prevent its reoccurrence, and set an example for others. Recently, Cameron's Minister of Secondary Education release prohibited the use of this method of punishment on students. She warned that sanctions await teachers that will go ahead to practice such punishment, a decision which has been received with mixed feelings by the Cameroonian population. While some people applaud it, others say it will rather promote high rate of juvenile delinquencies in school milieus. In our days, we were flocked by our teachers whenever we did something wrong. Due to these beatings, we were able to adjust and do the right thing. This new generation, if care is not taken, they might go off track. Normal. I think when we get to use a whip in school, we are traumatizing the children. Because first, they are physically traumatized. Secondly, they are psychologically traumatized because it sends a lot of waves down their spine. It, it, it makes the children to close up and uh, it, it creates a very big uh, atmosphere of tension that hinders the child's learning abilities, that hinders the child's learning journey. So I am totally in for a no for the use of a whip or a cane in the classroom. I Speaking to a psychologist, he thinks such a decision would rather cause more harm than good to these children. The people will perceive that in school they are free to do anything, everything and there will be no punishment for them. If at home they have corporal punishment, we should not forbid it in school. This decision comes after several clashes between students and teachers reported across the country. The clashes have often come from corporal punishment. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has decried the ill-treatment meted on school children. 